Yes, I verified offline that I could connect to my database, which in turn, I think here means I can go to plugins, GWT, and enable dev mode, and rerun the test that I was trying to do earlier. And we'll see if this starts up without error, and apparently uh, no errors just yet. The code server is ready. Um, compiling Play Shogi website. All right. Openings. All right. So this is stuck. Wrong window. Um, why is this stuck today? <laughs> the fuck? All right, so let's try this again. Openings. Um, now that's fine if the position's not in the database. I don't care. I'm just trying to use this board because there are no problems in survival mode. Like if I play survival mode, I get the same board. It's, I'm still unable to enter anything. Um, and that's fine. So, like, one of these links, it'd be cool if this worked. Uh, or maybe I just need to put this into the database. How hard could it be, right? Um, oh, that reminds me. Um, there was mention of two things for importing data. I thought these were shell scripts, but very well these could be, um, yeah, the SUME importer and ProSet importer. Okay. Right, and so this works for importing from a file. Um, so I need to provide said file. path kiff and the path is I see okay that's cool um, then we got this importer all right um, let me see what I do have Gotta find the kifus. Do I have any kifus? Not yet. Alright, um... You know, I just assumed that it was okay if positions weren't found in the database. Because at some point, like, the openings thing on the actual site is not going to find positions in the database, and it has to handle that. Um, I could implement that next. Wait, is this going to give... Am I receiving errors already? Inspect... Console? Where's console? Console. Console me already. Is this going to report a 500 or something? Exception caught. Index negative 1, size 0. Displaying position. Move played 9G9F. Exception caught in the console logger. Umbrella exception. Exception caught index minus one. Well, it's a good thing I understand how to troubleshoot this. <laughs> ah, the joy of live coding. I might just do stockfish stuff right now then. because um, I'm not sure that I could easily discern what caused the original exception. Widget.java, DOM event, widget, 
image dom dom yeah handler manager dot java but that's like a google class yeah that's gwt event shared handler manager so that handled the runtime exception the runtime exception reports some information and stuff but um, bummer It's great that I'm able to run uh, the project. Let me think. Is there anything else I could try right now? I mean, I could submit the patch untested. And the patch should work. Like, it looked reasonable the way I coded it that here I add the condition and if both conditions are satisfied we show the pop-up otherwise we do the promotion move like to me that looks right but um, would not be a bad idea to get this tested um, So let me take a look at this, position not in database. Maybe I can better handle this somehow. Um, I need to learn all my keyboard shortcuts. Replace in path, no. Nope, nope. nope. Uh, Pro set suma models. DB connection. Problem repo, user repo, game repository. Oh. Um, maybe it is game repository. No, just kidding. It's probably this one. Position not in database. Why would that text be in this class? Save position, get position, Sven by ID get position ID by Sven. Oh. Did not find position. Error, looking up the position. Okay, that's the only time the word database appears here. Um. Yeah, how do I use IDEA to uh, build a control flow graph to like find consumers of this thing and consumers of those consumers, etc. Never used IDEA before. Find usages, it's right there. Okay, Kifu service impl. Yeah, so there we go. That'd be interesting. Like, why did my logger not log the class name? But we found usages. That's good. Um, and where did my console just go running off to? I don't know. But yeah, if we fail to find the position, and this returns a negative one, and this returns null, a null is an unholy abomination that ruins everything. Um, which is unfortunate. Alright, so... The Kifu service impl implements Kifu service. Kifu service requires... Um, stuff. Okay, new position details, etc. 
there we go. So this is going to change the return type. <sighs> How do I effect the return type change? Right. Okay. I'm going to change the return type there. Return optional dot empty here. And then we're going to look at consumers of uh, get position details. Oh, nothing found. Control Alt Shift F7. All right. Um, do I at least have compile errors or something to point out to me, like what I've broken by changing said interface? Um. This is not serializable. Shit. Didn't think about that. Um, so I can either make it a default. Why is optional of position details not serializable? Like surely yeah, I imported Java Util optional. Um, container object may or may not return a non null value, etc. Right. Um, Oh, because it's, yeah, this uses a generic. That makes sense. Yeah, I could see now why returning null is forced. Um, okay, we save this file. And then we undo our changes. So this file, except uh, the interface fights back and won't let us undo, so we'll forcibly undo, and yeah, we'll just make the opposite of the changes that I made earlier. And again, I would expect if there are any build issues, the compiler would immediately point those out. Um, all right, so if I want to find usages of this method, find options. Let's see, what does this do? No. Put arguments in separate lines. Oh my goodness. IntelliJ IDEA is so opinionated about how you format your code. I just want to go up to, okay, here, to the declaration and try to find usages on this. Um, Oh wow, really? Okay, that's interesting. I don't understand, like this interface overrides another interface which declares the same method? That's a bit strange. Did I read that correctly? Find usages get position details of this interface overrides a method or in a method of interface kifu service async really how was that achieved because remote service I mean, 
clearly Kifu serve okay. By accessing and using JetBrains decompiler, you agree to certain terms and conditions, such as not redistributing code and such. Um yeah, it's fine. So what is this Kifu service async? Perhaps I can find it over here. Um, okay, so I could find it on my Linux command line. Um, oh. Huh. Okay. GW. Okay, wait. This is under the Play Shogi website GWT Maven, Source Main Java account Play Shogi website GWT. Okay. Uh, let's take a look. Yep, uh, and then server, right? No, GWT shared services, Kifu service. Um, uh, Kifu service async Java. Where's Kifu service async? Oh, it's right here. And we're saying that the one overrides the other? How? Remote service relative. Uh, this is so confusing. Um. Yeah, I'm not understanding how this overrides the get position details, which is in a different public interface. In a completely unrelated class that just happens to share a similar name. I think idea is confused because I'm not seeing how one of these could extend or override the other. Maybe there's some GWT magic going on that I'm not aware of. Water is good. Okay, we got pinged on Discord. Guess why? Hey, we're live. Surprise. So, yeah, I understand this is not found in the database. This just instantly returns instead of providing some sort of position details. And the null that's returned is not handled properly. Um, now, maybe I am mistaken. Maybe if I go to the actual site as opposed to my dev instance. Uh, PlayShogi.com. And if I go to openings and I just pick some random something. Um, now I could still move the pieces here. Even though that's clearly not in the database. Uh, So yeah, and for what it's worth, Alt-Left does take back the move or navigate backwards in your browser. Um, that is the Alt key and the left arrow key, not the other Alt-Left. <laughs> um. 
So while I could add some positions to my database, I shouldn't need them because I'm running the same code as the live site plus my additional code. Um, have there been recent changes? No, oh, the most recent changes are the ones that I uh, offered and that uh, Jean or Jean uh, merged. Um, hmm. Okay. Maybe there does need to be some seed data for this to work. This opening explorer. Um. <laughs> I don't suppose this is published. Yeah, didn't think that he published a collection. That's I could populate this tool with my own games. Um, it seems a bit weird. I mean, we could take a look at the importers and see how they work. Uh, database, source, collection. Suma importer. I don't have Suma, but Kifu set. Or sorry, whatever this is called, Pro set importer. With the assumption that these are pro games. Uh, Fifty-seven K pro games. I am curious how process Kifu works. This reads the Kifu and Kif. Wow, this very pedagogical. Lots and lots of little pieces that are added up. This code base is written in a way that encourages or allows for JUnit uh, and other stuff. All right. Um, We'll pursue a different idea right now. So I guess two things. One, I'm pretty confident that what I coded actually works, despite being unable to test it. Um, we'll take another look at it. And I mean, this is so, uh, this is a quality of life thing. This is not a bug fix. This doesn't have to go. But also, I'm not in a position to test it. So, for this to be tested, I'm going to have to submit it or come up with a way to test it. But that seems pretty difficult um, to strip out all the GWT code and find a way to execute the pieces of it that would otherwise have executed inside of a browser. Um, that seems tricky. Uh, instead, you know, we just implement is unpromote valid in every one of the movement classes. Peace movement, promoted bishop movement. Yeah, so even though I'm calling this is unpromote valid, um, I mean, a promoted piece, when you do an unpromoted move, it does not promote as part of the move. So if it's already promoted, that's fine. Um, where's the generic peace movement class in here? Again, oh, peace movement. Yes, yeah, so here I add the declaration. Yeah, I think this looks fine. We'll submit it. Uh, the maintainer can test this. 
I've done the best I can with it. Uh, let's see. Do we have a branch name for it? Oh, we do. All right. Do we have a pull request? Not yet. So we're going to attempt to merge this into yeah, the upstream master. Um, we're going to call this a fix for that issue. Uh, so uh, two things. Um, Gen uh, move generation now only generates uh, valid unpromote moves. Um, legal is probably uh, only generates legal unpromote moves. Um, let's see, what else do I have to say about this? Um, And uh, the client only presents a pop-up if both, if there is a choice. Uh, note, currently I am unable to test this batch. All right. I think that's as good as I can get this. Um, and now this is in his hands to figure out what to do with. And that's totally fine by me. Um, so the other thing I did want to work on is that I had observed that with this project, um, let's see, where was it? First of all, I've already started this. I'd like, to, oh, it is stopped. Okay, good. My CPU, or my machine's making noise, but that's fine. Uh, so I had noticed that one of these uh, classes had a thing, had a test string in its non-test code. Um, So yeah, under source main, we found that the user re repo contained this method that contained the word test. So I think I want to check out the master branch. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Git, switch branch, check out branch, rollback, repo, repo branches. Okay, we're going to check out master again. I'm just going to reset some code files in our working set. Okay, workspace associated with branch master has been restored. Nice. I can accept that. It's kind of a bit more than I needed, but that's clever. Um, so locally, I still have this change to DB connection. Now, wouldn't you know it, DB connection is also the class. No, it's not. User repository is the class that I'm changing. Um, so that's down here. So I want to, uh, if there is a source test, there's not. Does one of these projects have a source test path? source main uh, source main and test okay cool so this provides a model for me to follow um, so where do I go to generate a new JUnit test for this class I could manually construct everything in a terminal and that would work but if there's a preferred way to do this, uh, I'd prefer to do it the preferred way. Well, 
let's see, generate. Nope. All right, uh, let's look at this a different way. Create tests. And a new test. OK, in your production code, place the caret at the class you want to create a test. Alt enter, create test. All right, uh, Alt enter. <laughs> create main. That's not it. Close enough. Uh, show me files. Oh, maybe this is the key foo set. Nope, just kidding. Um, okay, common database is going to be hiding here. Okay, it's not that alt enter either. Uh, run with coverage. It's not exactly what I had in mind. All right. Um, in the create test dialogs. So I'm not getting a create test dialog. Maybe alt enter is not the correct way to summon the correct dialog. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, diagrams, local history, open in terminal, generate. Refactor? Nope, that's not it. Generate test. There we go. Now, is this going to be JUnit 5? I think I saw JUnit 5 in the other project. Um, so, yeah, let's add a test for main. Yeah, let's add that to git. And let's see, how was the test done down here? What did this look like? You just use the at test annotation. You throw whatever code you want in there. Um, now, is this using Jupyter API test or just JUnit 4? Okay, yeah, this did use uh, Jupyter API test. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, we don't need to be so verbose here. Void main. Truly, it's a void. All right, so. Hang on, that's not it. We want to go back over to this class, put some content in here, and there's our test. Um, hmm. There is a problem with this, and that the test only works if you have a database set up, but that's okay. Um, and we're going to create a setup. Uh, okay. Did this include it? Nope. All right. Um, void setup. And this needs an annotation. Man, if I knew that I was going to need a setup method, um, that would have been 
useful to auto generate. I guess I don't need the this there. All right, but um, with J unit five, how do we generate um, J unit five B four? How do we do the before annotation? Yeah, what's the difference here? Before each. Yeah, that's fine. This is also J unit four. Before class, it's preferable to execute only once. Yeah, I could see there'd be some cases where that would be useful. Oh, okay. There we go. These are J unit five annotations. Uh, And of course, this is not, cannot resolve. Um, yeah, J unit five should be able to resolve that. Not sure why that wasn't already in the class path, but that should work. So, yeah, make private, fine. All right, so for this to work, yeah, let's run the user repository test. Connecting to database, inserted user, Error saving the user. Can it add or update a forward key? Yeah. Um, interesting. What? Is this so? A foreign key constraint fails. So P the stats creation fails because there is no problem with that number. Um, but the rest of this worked, which is cool. Um, now if I try to run this again, this is going to fail. Uh, because I've already inserted the user, so I can't insert them twice. Um, I could swear there is an after each, uh, and that here we need to, <laughs> oh gosh, well that's spooky, isn't it? But yeah, delete user. We don't have a delete user, do we? Um, so my goal is just to get this main method moved out of this class and put into a test class. But also I think what we're discovering is that we don't delete users. So... Um, yeah, we can't do that. Regardless, even if this doesn't work on a machine, this should work on, um, the CI on the GitHub. If I create a new database each time, then uh, there should be no problem. 
It's just that a person trying to test this might have some problems. Um, if they're not purging that from the database each time. Um, now maybe I don't use this username because there is a chance that user, well, I don't know, like they wrote this test. They can, uh, this is, I think if this test fails for them, they could change that, but I think they don't want this. So, um, yeah, instead of doing that, um, let's call it admin. Uh, and the password hash. Password hash. How oh, cool. Um, hmm. Interesting. Yeah, let's uncomment this. Even though, like, I mean, this is always going to fail. This is always going to fail. Um, insert user pb stat. Oh, this is where we failed the first time. Okay. Um, test authenticate user. I think this is a reasonable test, even if the setup step is going to fail. Well, it's not going to fail the first time I run this here. Yeah, this test actually passed. So we've moved... Okay, why is this grayed out? Optimize imports, yeah. Oh, hang on, I'm supposed to assert something if I'm running a test. Um, like, it's one thing that um, I don't need two of those imports, but I should really assert something about this authenticate user call. Um, nope. There we go. There, now we've made use of that assertions import. Um, but yeah, this is going to return an authentication result. Oh, in fact, maybe I, what I'm wanting to assert um, well, I don't know. <sighs> user ID, user name. Nah, that's getting fancy. I could just compare all the res all the attributes of this to uh, something, but yeah, my real object is to make sure I get something back. Okay, so this is cool. Let's create this as a new branch and check this into my repo. Uh, how do we check out a branch? How do we switch branches? Uh, compare with branch repository branches new branch new branch name is going to be um, something about testing the user repository authentication uh, user auth test I guess that's not too verbose. Okay, how do we add this and whatever other files we want to add? Control Alt A. Okay, so we're adding this. 
control alt a to add this file and uh, where do I find my git console so I can just perform a commit of the two files I just added uh, that's kind of sort of a console I guess cool control alt a control alt a git commit file okay so I can pick whatever files I want to commit and then I put in my message nice um, yeah just these two the user repository and user repository test um, see extract test uh, authenticate user from uh, main uh, yeah move existing user auth authentication test into a test harness uh, into a JUnit 5 harness yeah that looks fine oh for this to work yeah I think I do have to include the POM that XML because like what changed here yeah this requires JUnit now um, is this the same JUnit that the other projects are using? Or did I do something goofy here? Um, Cause I can see like clearly this depends on the release of JUnit Jupyter, but Possibly the other repos didn't already require that, and I just introduced a new dependency. How do I go back to my project view here and take a look at um, this POM? Did this require JUnit? No. Why did this not require JUnit? Like, clearly it has a test. Um, okay, so this depends on play shogi library common and play shogi library shogi. Um, do either of those have a dependence on JUnit? So common does not, common also doesn't have any tests. Uh, how about the one ending in Shogi? I think we were just looking at this. Oh, yes, this does require the same Jupyter release, etc. Uh, in test scope. So, yeah, mine, my patch here requires the same Jupyter in test scope. So that's good. I haven't done anything too crazy. Um, Alright, so let's go back to commit file. Git commit file takes us back to this perspective where we can select the files that we intended to edit, which are just those three. Uh, misc.xml. What is this? I don't think I need this. F 
anything, this looks like I broke something. Yeah, I don't know what generated that. That's okay. Um, yeah, so just these three files are the only I, ones I expected to edit. So let's commit and push. Uh, let's see. No errors and 18 warnings. Okay, we'll review. No data sources, etc. Disable this via the inspection menu. Wow! Impressive. I mean, you're right, but that doesn't mean that I need to respect that. That's pretty intelligent of this to recognize that, hey, you're coding SQL, but you haven't actually established a data source in a way recognized by IDEA. Um, All right, three files committed and pushed to new branch, user authenticate test. So then I should be able to go over to here, play Shogi, and see, yep, there's my new branch. And if I look at actions, well, my actions pipeline doesn't pick that up. Um, that's a pity. It makes sense, but, um, that's unfortunate. So yeah, we'll just pull request, which will cause, um, uh, um, this looks like test code, um, uh, well, hang on. If I'm going to pull request this, i got to be careful. <laughs> Let's uh, drop this into my master branch first, because this is not going to work the first time around. Um, uh, I mean, no, I would like this to go... Um, Uh, this uh, work so I don't know maybe we do do it live um, no compare across forks so yeah let's aim for this because this is ultimately where we want to aim for it but also, could, like GitHub, GitLab has a concept of a draft pull request. Yeah, we're going to make this a draft pull request. Um, meaning this isn't ready yet. Um, but should still be able to exercise the CI pipeline here. And it does. And now we'll see the test fail in the pipeline because we have a dependency that's not acknowledged. We're going to see the same thing that IDEA was reporting that, hey, you haven't set up this dependency. You haven't installed the database. Uh, that's always been a manual installation step. So um, I'm going to find a way to automate. Okay. How did this test pass? I don't remember installing MySQL as part of this. That's very strange. Also, it's cool here you see like the 
loading times per step here. We're no longer having to download tons and tons of libraries uh, from Maven Central. GitHub is able to cache those. Um, still, I'm confused. So this is Play Shogi Library Database tests. Tests run zero, failure zero, etc. So, for whatever reason, Maven did not run the test. Curious. That's how this passed. Uh, some errors were encountered. It's either latest or release. Both of them are being deprecated. Okay. It's highly recommended to fix these problems that threaten your build stability. Um, now, did I miss some annotation or something in my test class? Is that why my test got skipped by Maven? Because we created this class, user repository test, and we modeled this after Shogi rules engine test, and we just annotated the method with test, and that should have been enough. And evidently it wasn't. And I don't know why uh, the test got skipped. Skip non existing directory. Database source main resources. Tests. Yeah, I don't understand. For other repos here, like Shogi, were any tests executed? No. <laughs> Why are no tests executed? Maven non-interactive install file this. Um, why could I, Maven not resolve the test path? Uh, that's interesting. Okay, if I go to this lifecycle test, is this going to try to run my tests? No. Verify? Nothing to verify. Okay. Uh, what gives? I don't understand. Do I have to define my test path in here somehow? No, we're using the same conventional source, main, Java, etc. Um, and source test Java. Alright, did my pull request actually include any changes? I thought so. Yeah, it definitely did. Okay. Um, I mean, potentially it's that Maven warning, but deprecated does not mean broken. It just means strongly discouraged. And there's always time to fix that, but before the next big upgrade. But in the interim, this should work. Does this need to be a public method? Is that the problem? Access can be packaged private. Does this need to be public? 
I'm so confused. How do you write tests with JUnit 5? This is my first time doing it. Um, I've used JUnit 4 before, but um, I've never quite used JUnit 5. Yeah, so this is just omit all the access modifiers. Test, parameters, test, repeat, test, test factory, etc. Um, test class methods, etc. So this is quite similar. Maven. How do you use JUnit 5 with Maven? Uh, you need to add at least a single test engine implementation to your project. If you want to write tests with Jupyter, add the test artifact uh, JUnit Jupyter engine. Okay. So, so far I'd only added that which was necessary to get the test to compile. Uh, this is a dependency, but that's different than an engine, isn't it? Um, if you want to write JUnit 3 or 4 tests using the... okay, yeah, that's not our aim. Um, so... I mean, I could just copy and paste this, or we could go to maven repository.com uh, JUnit engine. Yeah, what's the latest? There's milestone one. We're not going to use milestone one. Let's use this. Hey, uh, the project. The uh, project is, believe it or not, um, Play Shogi. It's got an openings explorer, so you can like pick these moves and take a look at what's popular among pros. Uh, you can also solve checkmate problems. So, um, yeah, you got a timer on the left here, and you can see if you can solve the checkmate. If you hover over your own pieces, it shows where they can move. Yeah, yeah, thankfully, uh, this author, uh, Jean Fortin, Jean Fortin, I don't know how to pronounce it, um, they open sourced this yesterday, and I've been very excited that they did. Um, because it's good to have online services for Shogi. Like everybody and their cat and their dog and their goldfish have done stuff for chess. When are we going to get that for Shogi? Uh, well, soon. <laughs> That's all we can do is do our best. Um, okay, so if I bundle this engine here... Is that going to execute my tests, maybe? Um, go back to Maven. Um, Lifecycle test. Yeah, this doesn't even detect the test. I don't know what's up. Big news, now people can crowd contribute, yes. Oh, very cool, nice. I'll have, huh. if there is a video available, I'll have to check what he said, because no, that's very good. Yeah, I figure like, yeah, there might somehow popular interest in this will arise eventually. Somebody's eventually going to bring a shogi set there. 
and they're probably gonna get laughed away but eventually like this will become popular it's a great game it really is it might give chess a run for its money honestly but that's problematic in itself so <sighs> Uh, Maven reload the project config. Mm. Well, that's too bad. I have no idea why it's not finding my test classes. Uh, I probably could read the instructions a bit more. This will pull in all required dependencies. Among these is this, which contains the classes, etc. It's the only step that's required to get started. You can now start creating things in source test Java. Um, I've actually read through this entire document multiple times before um, while trying to troubleshoot something else. Wow, do I really want to downgrade to JUnit 4 just because I can't figure this shit out? your amusing wisecracks. Uh, let's see, so Lama explained he'd been playing a lot of Shogi, what it was, and that he'd like to see it at a St. Louis Shogi club. Nice, yeah. Or he'd like to see a St. Louis Shogi club. Yeah, definitely. I could see that emerging. I mean, what else is everybody in St. Louis going to do? <laughs> they could do chess all day. I mean, no, they have, like, lots of interesting museums and stuff down there. They have a beautiful downtown area. I've been there before. Um, but, yeah, I could certainly see something like that emerging. Additional Maven dependencies only needed to run in a version of IDEA that bundles older versions. Right, Eclipse, NetBeans, etc. Where's Maven? Build support, Gradle. Config parameters, configuring test engines. Maven. The JUnit platform Maven Surefire provider has been discontinued. Um, Starting with version 2.22, Maven, Surefire, Maven, Failsafe provide native support for text execution in JUnit. POM.xml in the JUnit 5 Jupyter Starter Maven project demonstrates how to use the Maven Surefire plugin. Okay, so we're going to take a look at that. Um, Let's 
see. And compare that to what I've done. So properties compiler target J unit Jupiter version. Okay, fine. We can do that. I can add a property for J unit Jupiter version here. These aren't in alphabetical order. Uh, ordering doesn't actually matter, but for my own sanity, I'd like to have some sort of ordering to it. Um, wait. I mean, I'm not mandating that we use an old version of Maven's built-in tooling. Um, org J unit Jupiter J unit Jupiter. All right, let's say this version. Okay, what's the error? I mean. This is supposed to be a valid dependency. Literally the same thing that comes from the example that I'm told to follow. Literally a copy and paste effort. And it doesn't work. That's cool. Oh, no joke's gonna do something. Nice. Gotta get him hooked on Shogi. He'll probably be confused. To be like, ah, that game's too confusing. And he's right. Uh... <sighs> well, I should probably wrap up and start watching some No Joke. That sounds delightful. Um... I don't know why this can't be resolved because plainly like this J unit Jupiter version uh, does exist. I had Maven repo up a second ago. Uh, J unit Jupiter. This thing does it say call it the API. No, it just wants me to call J unit Jupiter. This thing, the aggregator, which clearly has a 5.6.2 right there. So, yeah, this is bullshit. <laughs> uh, might need to reload or something. Okay, see, no error. It's just idea needs to talk with the Apache tools for once, once in a while. Now, if I run the test, Tests executed, zero. See, so yeah, all that trouble I went through didn't make a difference. Yeah, I get the sense that idea is not leveraging Maven correctly. But, yeah, what can I do? Let's see. Can't figure out how to get there. A um, Linux laptop. Not sure what there refers to, sorry.
I am so stumped why this test is not discovered. I mean, this must be on the build path, right? Yeah, no, by convention it is. Um... Maven 3.6. Okay, now this is... But this was released two years ago. There's no way. What Maven version is this? I don't even know. But this must just be a versioning thing somehow. Even though, like, I'm trying to use these 4.0 spec. <sighs> Maven, show effective palm. Here's, like, everything I'm using. No, that's not true. Plugins, etc. Uh, let's see. Prior to these releases to run. Oh, that's my confusion. Okay. So, yeah. I... <laughs> uh, but. That's probably it. It's just that I'm not using the version they recommend, or newer, despite that being released two years ago, and me saying I want modern tooling. I'm probably actually using some super jinky old version of Maven. That could explain things. So just over time, the problem will fix itself. There's nothing I need to do. Uh, GitHub Actions Maven version. Okay, what version does this use? Currently, this is the plan to use this as a feature of the upcoming Maven 3.7 release. This was last worked on February 18th. And so comments were given, well, I didn't read it, but it said prior to 3.7, I think. Um, we were using an old version of these dependencies. I could just wait until maybe like October or something where this should f fix itself. When new versions of Ubuntu, etc. release new tooling and uh, GitHub will eventually catch up. Um. Yeah, my problem with specifying a fixed Maven, or yes, a fixed Maven version, is that we'll forget to upgrade it, and eventually you'll just drift out of sync with the latest Maven tooling. So if I don't need to specify Maven version, I'd rather have it be automatic. 
are handled automatically. Um, as for my pull request, so I changed a couple files. This should work, but would require a database to be present. Yeah, I think I'm just going to sleep on that. I'll just wait until the test starts failing and then fix the script so it passes. At least until I can figure out how to summon MySQL, etc. Um, it's probably not even that hard to figure out how to fix, it's just how do you test the test. Like the recipe for how to fix the GitHub action thing is probably some subset of this. Uh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'd actually have to do some of this, right? I have to, in order to be able to create a user and create statistics and things like that, some of these things that require manual intervention will have to be automated. So maybe it's not so easy. Huh, interesting. Anyway, it sounds like if no joke's going to stream and I'm out of content, uh, it'd be a good time for me to wrap up. I did draft a pull request. I did create a pull request. This draft is not ready yet. Um, for what, uh, hang on, let's edit my comment. For whatever reason, uh, GitHub, uh, neither in, neither idea nor GitHub, um, invoke existing or new JUnit 5 tests. Um, I think this may be due to... Well, now I need to bring up that other tab that had the reference documentation explaining this. Um, and does this have an index? And if so, yeah. Writing tests, running tests, um, build support, Maven. Um, this may be due to a Maven versioning issue, so I can leave this PR open until GitHub offers a compatible Maven version. Um, uh, there we go. Update comment. Good enough. All right.